Hi, I'm Brian King and welcome to StampWithBrian.com. Today we're going to be making a card that uses a technique that incorporates embossing powder, a blender pen, and a little bit of bleach. So come sit down with me and let's make a card. Let's get started. The stamp set we're going to be using today is By the Seashore. I'm going to emboss a couple of different images from this stamp set and then we're going to bleach it and I think you're going to really like this effect. To start with, I'm going to use my embossing buddy. Now this little bag is used to rub over the paper before you begin embossing and it removes the static cling and moisture from the paper so that you get a clear uh, embossed image. I then used a little bit of Versamark to uh, collect up the image here. I stamped it down, it comes out clear, and then you're going to pour a little bit of embossing powder over the image. Once it's on there, you're just going to shake it off, put it back in the container, and then you're going to heat this image until it is completely embossed and shiny. I don't know if you can tell from that. Uh, but what I'm going to do with it now is I've poured a little bit of bleach into this embellishment container and I have a blender pen that I have labeled for bleach and basically I'm just going to dip into this container and I'm going to run over the image allowing the bleach to collect. Now you could try to get inside the lines uh, each and every time or you could go on the outside of it and just give it sort of a halo effect and I'm just going to let this get a little bit messy just for visual effect. So each color of cardstock is going to bleach to a different color and it will all depend on how many layers of bleach you apply. So you might want to try it with a, a couple of different colors just to see. When, when crumb cake is bleached, the resulting color is very, very close after maybe two or three times, very, very close to river rock. So let me show you what a couple of different bleached uh, card stocks look like. And this is after, again, maybe two applications. So uh, this is Midnight Muse. It is a little white, a little bit yellow, basic gray, early espresso, basic black, chocolate chip, a really interesting one here, soft suede, and Sahara sand. And again, these are after two applications. If you want to try more, go for it. See what you can get. But I think it really makes for an interesting effect. So here's the completed card. Now this is just a standard uh, piece of card stock cut in half and then scored in half. And I have here um, three of the shells that are featured in the stamp set that I've embossed and bleached. And then I've included this sentiment uh, from Wordplay uh, to be a perfect card for anyone just to let them know that you're thinking about them. Thank you for stopping by today. Please visit stampwithbrian.com to purchase the items featured in this tutorial or to view other projects I've created. Thank you.